Hey guys, Dragon Rider Jack here, right where I left you, and we gotta go kill some people. I gotta go, so go talk to some people, and I know some people, that killed some people, and then killed them. That's what Altair is thinking in his head. What is this? Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. <laughs> Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Gotta go down. Oh no, she's wounded. Ah, uh, pin blade, down fist, left throwing knife, right sword. Thank you. Uh, 15 is the number of throwing knives you got. I just had to sprint like this was Call of Duty. Damn. Oh no! Go down. Whoa! I'll go down that far. What's happened? Oh, I'll pull out my sword, alright, whatever. L1 to exit of tension, exit of fight. Oh, that's right, press hold R1. Wanna... Yeah, hold R1, that's right. Look how bloody my sword is because I'm a badass motherfucker. Oh my god. You are. Ooh. Countering is pretty much all you will do in combat. Okay, I'll just warn you right now. Ooh! Jackass. Go ahead. Oh, I got lock on him, duh. No! He threw me! Douche. That's what happens when you throw me. Kick your ass. And then you can go, like, balls to the wall at it. Ow. If you mistime it, you get hit. There you go. Reinitializing is when you get out of combat. Just where people are running away from, and I don't know why they are running in this direction, these idiots. You can... I'm not 100% sure you can actually in this one, so I don't want to say that. I'm going to switch to this and see if I can counter. Move. Move, people. Come on. I'm trying to save your lives. Douches. Yeah, you can. There we go. You can counter with that. Deflecting is impossible. And if you miss time to counter, you are screwed. But there's no point to doing that in this one. Because countering anybody with a sword will kill them. In the future ones, which I mean, I'm gonna do them, so you don't really need to know this beforehand. But I guess it's it's nice to know. Um, that the sword will sometimes not kill everybody. So the um, the hidden blades will, though. So it's always good, nice to have them. Memory to a more recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep trying to run like it's Call of Duty. I gotta, I gotta cut that out. Altair, <laughs> come. Al Muelim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Alright, so I guess I gotta go in this direction. Oh, didn't start the timer. Uh, I think you gotta, yeah, you gotta follow him in here. I'm gonna catch up to him. I wish I could just pull him down. Stand on that platform, Oh. I have to go over here. This becomes important in Revelations. And uh, this, I guess this one scene does. See pigeons? What you have done to me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village! 
village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly ended. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? Nice hostage, they just killed him. Your men remain, By the way, the listen to that and your food is gone. My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Whoa. Good. Then they shall have it all around. We should, uh, we Follow should calm down. And do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! You just hold, um, R1 and forward. Hi! And you pop right out. I'm saying all this stuff late. Attack. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. All right. Here's where you walk across. Because they set this up. They just tied these two planks and somehow they fit perfectly. Uh, don't question it. Because you're, you're too stupid to realize that this is, like, perfectly safe and would definitely hold weight. It's just ridiculous. What the hell's up here? I bet you have to come back here for a flag, which is so stupid. I'm not getting all the flags. I would never want to get all the flags, ever. Can I skip this? I mean, I guess, yeah, in the first one this would be necessary, maybe, Al. I, oh God, I can't wait to wear my new headset. I gotta figure. I gotta take some time and set it up. Don't I? I just want to get these parts recorded, so that I can like get some some videos out. And then you go to the left, and then you go up. And it's like, what up? What am I gonna do now? Oh, I don't know. Go to the right. Oh shit. This jump, that jump right there, is the scariest one. Oh. Yeah, that that one. Like you jump backward and grab on, your weight would carry you away, like your fingertips and stuff. Like, it's just scary. I like shit my pants when I do when I do that jump. Oh, the last guy. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me. Do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Worried that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair. All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malikas told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hand. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. 
And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Why would he stab me there? That's not even fatal. Pain flaws, how I bet. I mean, ow, oh god, I'm so engrossed in the game. Ah, my side hurts. He's experiencing a far better adaption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Just wake up and I'm gone. Let me have him do that. There's gotta be something I can do. When you, whenever you go to Desmond, there's usually something you can do. So you just, I just, just walk around the room until I figure it out. This building, it's so bright out that they don't really let you see where you are. I'm guessing it's like somewhere in New York. I don't really know. It looks like a big city. This is a huge building. Ooh, a computer. Change my clothes. They said I couldn't hear it. Let me, damn. Let me shower. Sweet. Different camera. What up? Oh, never mind. When it switches perspective like that, it throws your controls all off. Well, if I'm tired, I want to go to bed. No. God. Are they walking out of the conference room? Oh my God. They must be. Are they already out of the conference room? Where'd they go? We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. No, let me in here. Let me in here. No! Freedom! You were right over there. Hey, sweet cheeks. Sweet, sweet, sexy ass. Come here. Let me, let me talk to you. Whoa. You look really... Poor high definition -y. Well, this isn't awkward. How about this direction? Damn. I thought I could surprise butt sex you. Oh. My attempts at surprise butt sexing were futile. I'm just not as much. <laughs> I just haven't tuned in tune I'm not in tune with my inner assassin enough yet to surprise butt sex you 
So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. Do you have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. It gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they find me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? <laughs> no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo, fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. No! Oh my god, did he just... Is he, did he just pick a wedgie? Not in front of the girl, bro. What are you doing? You blowing on my spot? Wow, she just... She just rollerbladed over there. Good stuff. Let me see some. Anyway. Aren't you tired? Yeah, usually they have like two lines of dialogue. By the way, that is Kristen Bell. And they mauled her character after it. Assassin's Creed 2 looks so much better. It's crazy. But I guess it's time for bed. Time for me to go to bed, yo. I think when I walk in here, the door closes. Yeah. Damn it, if you lock the door. If you miss those scenes, that's it. There's no way to open the door. Uh, damn. The bathroom will just open up for me and be like, what up, you need to pee? You need to tingle? That's fine, but if you need to poop, then you're on your own. No, I don't like this side. No! I want to sleep over here where it's safe. So I'm going to go to bed. That's going to do it for this part. In the next part, um, we will rise and shine after we see that. After this. <sighs> Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up and you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy. And it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Okay, now we're going to end the part. And I was completely silent there because <coughs> I, uh, my dad called to ask me a question about the outlet in my bathroom because it's broken and it needs to be fixed and he's going to fix it. So yay! That's what I said to him in that exact way. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. And the next part, we'll head back into Altair land or wherever it is.
whatever whatever they call it <laughs> later guys